Welcome once again, friends, to another episode of Mayo the Series. Today, we're going to be putting to bed whether or not Adrastia blackmailed her dying mother for a life-saving organ. As recently as yesterday, she claims that's not what happened, and I'm just lying. So let's go ahead and take a look at the evidence and see who's the liar here. Now, I'm going to warn you before we start this video, it's messed up. This one is dark. It's quick, but it's dark. So if you just want to skip it, if this type of stuff bothers you, short answer, yes. Yes, she did that. And her reasoning for doing so is the most narcissistic, petty crap in the world. And she absolutely admits that she didn't just want some conversation with her mother. She wanted her mother to come on the internet, on her deathbed, and validate all of her weird, outlandish stories about her past that her mother and aunt have already said they don't remember it like that. So let's just put it to bed. Adrastia is asking them to lie. By the, in their perception, they would be lying. Apparently, Adrastia's mother was going through organ failure and was dying. Her family didn't tell her because her family has disavowed her a long time ago. And Adrastia has gone out of her way to write books and make about a thousand videos calling them all abusive inbred pedophiles. In fact, you can verify all this by going to Aunt Kathy's Storytime right here on YouTube. That's her aunt. And we love our Aunt Kathy. So let's start this slip and slide into darkness. And once again, you've been warned. This is some of the most evil crap you will ever see come out of Adrastia. She will not be able to deny it and you will be physically sickened by some of the things she says here. Enjoy. You know the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eye. Okay, so I've been informed that my mother is apparently dying of kidney disease. And I would like to say that if she acted like a mother to me one time, one time, if my family is watching, if my mom is watching, if, she, if you act like a mother just once and tell the truth about what you know happened, for 30 years? If you can be a mother to me and tell the truth, I would gladly donate one of my kidneys to you. Okay, here's where the problem starts. Now, Adrastia, if your mother was terrible to you as a child and she was no kind of mother to you, and then 40 years later, she comes around asking for a kidney and you tell her to go stick it up her ass, I would have no problem with that. If you asked for a private conversation, hey, just, Tell me I'm not crazy. Just tell me you remember my dad being such a monster. I would accept that. You are asking for something in exchange in public, something petty. You're saying, mom, I'll give you this kidney. It's right here. I know you're dying. This thing you need to save your life right here dangling in front of your face. But what you have to do is come on the internet and fight my internet enemies for me. And don't worry, she's gonna make it very clear. But I want you to know just how evil what she's doing is from the very beginning. She's blackmailing her mother. She's putting conditions on this shit. Now I want to be clear, you don't owe anybody any of your internal organs. Especially not a relative who was shit to you. But what you don't have the right to do is blackmail them with their life. You don't get to try to use their weakened position and fear of death to make them dance like a puppet and come on the internet and get involved in your drama. That might be the worst thing I've ever heard of anyone doing out here. Your mother is literally dying. Before the end of this video, we're gonna pass through a time frame where she does die. And guess what? Adrastia's family doesn't put her in the obituary at all. That kinda tells you what they thought about all this, doesn't it? If you would own up and be a mother to me, but at this moment, I don't feel like you are my mother. I don't feel like I have any family at all because all they have done is lie to make people hate me. If my mother is really sick and in need, then she has the opportunity to have my kidney. And all she has to do is be a mother to me and be honest about the situation and contact me and get me to tell me how to do it. And all I'm asking is for the truth to be told. 
Yeah, but that's where the problem comes in, Adrastia. You have a different version of the truth from the rest of your family, so nothing that they would be telling from their perspective as the truth would be the truth to them. You're asking them to lie. Now, the accusation I hear kicked around a lot is that Adrastia killed her mother. I don't think she literally killed her mother. However, Hans Londa would think she literally killed her mother. So let's hear from him. So the way I see it, since Hitler's death of possible rescue rests solely on my reaction, if I do nothing, it's as if I'm causing his death even more than yourselves. Wouldn't you agree? I guess so. I said I want her to tell the truth. The truth. Tell the truth. Y'all think I'm evil because I want that. Oh no, what you're doing is absolutely pure evil. And it's about to get a lot worse. Stay tuned. From somebody who I have been begging for it for so long. I don't even want to have a relationship with the woman. If she was to tell the truth, I would literally give her my kidney without ever seeing her and then never contact her again. But I would help her if she would be honest about what she knows happened. Hey, Adrasti, I don't know if you noticed, but it's Mother's Day and you're putting this on video, blackmailing your mom for her life and shit. You're making yourself look like the world's biggest villain right now. Again, if you suffered some manner of trauma or abuse because she didn't speak up when you were a kid, that really sucks. But that's no excuse to like literally blackmail her to get involved in internet drama. Also, I'd like you to consider something, Adrastia. You say you were abused as a child and all through your childhood and teenage years. Was it your fault you were abused? I'm willing to bet that you would say no. So why are you putting that on your mom? Why, in order for this course of action to make sense, your assertion is that it is your mom's fault she was abused and she needs to take accountability for being beaten up by your father. That's fucked up enough. But now you're dangling the last years of her life in front of her face like, get on the internet and do a little dance for my enemies or else I'm gonna kill you. If she would be honest about the fact that my father beat the fuck out of her for 30 years, if she would be honest about the fact that my little brother was born handicapped because of that abuse, if she would be honest about the fact that she drank heavily during those years, heavily, if she would be honest about the fact that the reason I was born in a car was because he threatened to beat her. These are facts. I mean, they might be facts. I don't know. The rest of your family tells a different story, but let's say they were all lying. How does any of this, how does your dad being abusive justify you blackmailing your mother with her life on Mother's Day of all days? This isn't even speculation. She's literally dying. You've been told, hey, you could give her a kidney, extend her life like a decade. And you're like, yeah, I'll be happy to do that. Just come get involved in my stupid drama shit on her deathbed on Mother's Day. And you made these fucking videos. You are evil. And if she would be honest about them, she could have my kidney. I've made the offer that I have made. That's it. And I'm not gonna let you people make me think that I'm this evil, horrible person for making that offer. Because I'm literally offering to save her life. If other people have to tell you that you're evil right now, and you don't just know that, you're a sociopath. If she's gonna choose to lay in a hospital bed and die because she doesn't want to tell the truth about things that happened 30 years ago, that's her choice. Holy fucking shit! I told you guys this was gonna get cold-blooded. I told you she was a cold-blooded, evil, evil person. You didn't believe me. You walked into this like, nah, Drasty is not gonna surprise me. Oh, I can surprise you with some Drasty videos, trust me. All I want is the truth. All I want is for somebody to step up and be honest about what happened back then. That is all I have ever wanted. That's all I will ever want. And I will never stop fighting to get that truth known. Never. I will spend the rest of my life making sure that people know Ronald Woods was a monster. No, she's serious. I'm from two years in the future. She never stops screaming. She never stops sniveling. And also, apparently this is so important, she's willing to kill her mother for it. It's important to note that at this point, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the future until the next time that I can find where she's discussing this topic. 
and that's going to be in 2022, after her mother died. So keep in mind that all this cold-blooded evil shit coming out of this woman, she's now talking about her dead mom. After the last time she talked about her mom, which was to blackmail her with her life, with a life-saving organ on Mother's Day. Enjoy. Oh, by the way, Adrastia, stay smug. When he comes at you, doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. And those black eyes roll over white and then... Oh, then you hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. When I said that I would give my mother an organ for a conversation that was honest and truthful, that's exactly what I meant. You're throwing it in my face saying, no, you wanted her to lie. You wanted her to lie and lie and lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. It's good to see you're taking this matter so seriously. I hope in the future you're not going to whine about your dead mom after saying all this shit. Lie and 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 I literally offered to give up an organ and y'all are still saying what well, you were you just wanted her to lie. No. And for me, being called a liar and having his life swept under the rug and completely ignored so that Kathy can maintain this perfect vision of the family hurt. Oh yeah, Drassi, it's everyone else's fault. It's Kathy's fault, it's your dad's fault, it's your mom's fault, it's your sister, it's everybody else's fault but yours, right? Because everyone else was in power of this deal you tried to make with your mother, right? That didn't just come directly out of you. And the only person that you people would believe would have been my mother. And the only way I was going to have that conversation with her would have been to give up something extremely vital. A, literally a life-saving organ. So that's what I offered. Oh, you're such a selfless hero, Adrastia. Such, such a hero, so Christ-like of you. I hope you're not about to follow this up with the most cold-blooded admission yet. I wanted validation. And in exchange for that validation, I was offering to extend her life for God knows how long. So just to be clear, you're specifying right now that you know this organ would have saved her life, would have extended her life for God knows how long, and you tried to blackmail her to come on the internet and get into it with your internet enemies. Not because you needed validation, even though that's what you keep saying. You're gonna make it even clearer here in a moment. You wanted her to validate you to the internet. You're, you're speaking to your audience right now. I need her to do this so y'all stop saying stuff. Again, it's everybody else's fault. Maybe your family thought that your internet drama was a little too petty to bring to your mother's deathbed, Mary. I don't think that there was anything wrong with that offer. Well, then you're a murderous fucking idiot. And I know that you guys do. I did not offer to save my mother's life in exchange for lies. I offered a life-saving organ that would have extended her life in exchange for the truth. And it was rejected. Yeah, I don't know if it was rejected or if your family just aren't a bunch of childish assholes who burned your mother with that in her last days. I hope to God your family was more mature than you. You think that on her deathbed, facing death, the most frightening thing a person can, can face, that she should take time out to validate you. Because you, who's done nothing but trash your family, trash her, write books, make a thousand videos calling them all abusive inbred pedophiles, you deserve that. No, 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 it's not the time for you to maybe make amends with her, no. It's, it's time for her to get off her lazy ass on her deathbed and get involved in your internet drama, or she can fucking die. That's your statement. You're making it very, very clear. Because my family is that against telling the truth anything my mother has just died and you are attacking me those are the only kind of people that i'm dealing with at this moment my family did not even tell me about this yeah drastia your mom died a horrible painful long death through organ failure please tell us how this affected you the most i had to learn about her death through comments that were attacking me 
my family can lie and deny for the rest of their lives. All it's doing is cementing their place in hell. So apparently, Adrasia believes that uh, because she blackmailed her mother on Mother's Day with a life-saving organ, and the only validation that came from that was validation that her family was telling the truth because her mother did in fact die. Other people are going to go to hell? I don't know, Mary. You might want to read that book that talks about hell. See what the criteria are before you start popping off about who's headed there. Y'all are saying I killed my mother because she wouldn't lie for me. No. My mother died because she would not tell the truth. Okay, now you just sound like a fucking murderer. Even though we were not close. Even though we fought every time we spoke. I was still offering a liver for validation that would stop the abuse that I am currently dealing with for speaking out. You're not being abused by the internet, and maybe your mother's life is more important than validating your internet bullshit. Have you ever considered that? That maybe you're the narcissist? That maybe you're not that important? That your bullshit isn't that important? That normal people don't know about all this YouTube stuff and don't care? And that to them, dying is a much more frightening prospect than being called a liar on YouTube? Did you ever consider that, Dum Dum? Just as easily as I could have offered to give this family member who I was not close to an organ for free, anybody in my family could have stepped up and taken the bullet for her and told the truth and validated me. Any of them could have done any of them that you would believe. My sisters, Kathy herself, they chose not to. Now listen to what she's specifying here. Anyone in her family could have come on the internet and told us that her dad was an evil bastard and her mom wouldn't have had to die. It's everybody else's fault. She is specifying this was about coming on the internet and anybody could have done it. It could have been anybody. Now she didn't say that before. She wanted it out of her mother. She even said, it has to be mom. No one else, they, they won't believe anybody else. Well, we've heard from your sister. We've heard from your aunt. We've heard from your cousins. And they all say you're insane. You're trying to force your mother to tell a different story than the one she apparently remembers. That's trying to force her to lie. When that didn't work and she died, now you want to look at the family and be like, any one of you could have saved her. But you didn't want to do what I said. So now your loved one is dead. I killed them. Ha! I told you, this shit is fucking cold-blooded. Adrastia is evil. They chose to continue denying and lying rather than to save the life of their family member that they were supposedly close to. And there you have it. I didn't kill my mom. You killed her by not doing what I say. I mean, this is just the definition of blackmail. Now she's even telling it in retrospect, like, yeah, I was blackmailing you and you didn't pay. So now she's dead, ha ha. If Kathy truly loved my mother and truly wanted to save her life, all she had to do was come out publicly and say that she knows the truth, that my father was abusive, that he handicapped my brother. That's it. And there it is again. Mary, I'd like to thank you for being so specific about how fucking evil and twisted you are. You saved me the trouble of trying to explain your mentality by putting it here on Front Street on full display. That's all I wanted validation for. And they couldn't do it. They chose to let her die rather than validate me. Wow. When you put it like that, this, I mean, morally speaking, I'm not sure about legally, but morally speaking, you're kind of dipping your toes in the water of fucking murder now. Like you consciously knew what I'm doing is going to kill this person unless other people give me what I want. That's, that's literally the definition of blackmail. And, you know, y'all can put it on me all you want all day long. And I'm not going 
to be responsible for it because I'm not the one lying. <laughs> I'm the one that's trying to get the truth out there because it has been eating me alive for so fucking long. <laughs> And there you have it, friends. Sorry for how quickly I had to cut this video, but uh, somebody was being super duper smug today, and I felt like a record of this particular incident needed to be made. So, let's put it to bed. Did Adrastia blackmail her mother with a life-saving organ, trying to get her to come on the internet and validate all her bullshit, or she was going to let her die? Yes. Absolutely yes. Adrastia has made that very fucking clear in those words. I don't see how she can walk around and deny this shit today. Would her mother be alive today had she given her that organ? Yes. Would it have been totally cool for he, her to say, no, I'm not giving you an organ. You were no kind of mother to me. Yeah, that would have been okay. Nobody's entitled to your internal organs. The fact is, though, Mary, you tried to blackmail your mother on Mother's Day with her life. And you know what? It worked because she ended up dying. And when she did, you shit on her again. You made it really clear. That is not your fault, it's everyone else's fault she's dead for not giving you what you want and making you do that. Just like your MO for everything else. So in my opinion, are you responsible for the death of your mother? Yeah, kinda. Did you try to blackmail her? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. And is Adrastia extremely evil, maniacal, and probably should be in some place that deals with criminally insane people? Absolutely. I'm not a shrink. But uh, if I ran the world, she would be in a little room with padded walls and a little window people could come and study her through. I'm Adonis Paul, and we'll see you next time on Mayo the Series.